My name is Frank Dawson. I'm chair of the communication department at Santa Monica College in Santa Monica, California. Newhouse grad, 70, 19, Newhouse grad, 1974. And I'm here with Barry Wells, uh, retired senior vice president and dean of student affairs at Syracuse University uh, over the last 12 years. And the question I believe this posed to us is a question on networking and the value of networking. Um, I'd say networking is invaluable. Opportunities that we have um, uh, coming together with people we haven't seen for a very long time, meeting new people, and finding out how much of a shared experience we all have and how much opportunity there is for growth and um, in sharing information. And I think uh, CBT has always been just tremendous from that. Uh, come back from CBT energized um, from the different topics that we discuss with one another, but also the context that, um, that we develop that able, enable us to go forward more rapidly in business and our personal and social lives as well. I think one of the other uh, valuable experiences associated with coming back together is the opportunity for our students to network with our alumni. Uh, one of the things that I've always encouraged students to do is to take advantage of the talent, the expertise, and the knowledge and experience of our alumni when they come back uh, to Syracuse University. And it's very, very uh, challenging for these young people to recognize the potential uh, of the networking opportunities with alumni. Uh, sometimes we give them more credit for being a little bit more mature than they are. And I always uh, challenged uh, my colleagues on the faculty and staff and administration to really try to encourage our students, both undergraduates and graduates, to come and to meet and to talk and to begin to network uh, with uh, Syracuse alums who have come back uh, to share their knowledge uh, via the workshops as well as with some of the social events that we have. And I've talked with many alum who really appreciate the opportunity to connect um, and to offer advice and guidance and sometimes uh, internships and actual job opportunities uh, evolve out of these networking opportunities. One of the things that we did, uh, Horace Smith uh, and I, uh, last uh, CBT time around was, was to bring George Frazier in. And actually, uh, George uh, Frazier, who had talked so much about power networking, uh, came and spoke not only to the alumni but also to our students about the power of networking. And, and so everything that we can do to promote it, to encourage it, not only benefits uh, our students, but benefits the alumni and benefits our, our communities as well. I'll give you a good example of that. Um, I was able to attend this, the Newhouse networking session in which current students at Newhouse made a presentation to alumni in terms of things that they're doing today. And they were able to make the connection with things and seeds that were planted 40 years ago by the alumni here. And one of the really important things that I thought that did was, and we often think about the, what, what students get out of networking with alumni, is what we as alumni got from our interaction with the students. Because we came out of that acknowledgement from them in terms of knowing what had gone on before and how difficult it was and how meaningful it is to what they're doing today. We came out of that energized in terms of wanting now to give more and to be involved more. And so we had some tremendous exchanges with students after that in terms of sharing information about business, giving them you know, cards and information in terms of how to contact us. But I think we're all just so energized about participating at an even higher level because of the response that we got from them and their acknowledgement, and that was very important. 